Hi, my name is uh, Ryan Boatwright, and the case study that I chose to um, present today was the Pressure to Change Hakeem's Grade, which is located on page 43 of the textbook. Um, the basic summary of the case study is um, um, of a basketball student from uh, Migraine High School. Um, he is known, which is a high school known for their uh, sports programs. Um, their basketball um, program specifically is um, having a lot of success um, this season. Um, they have a 22-0 uh, regular season um, record um, going into the playoffs. Um, this is all led by their uh, star freshman athlete whose name is Hakeem Hops. Um, Hakeem averages 32 points uh, per game and is just a, by all means a basketball, uh, basketball phenom. Um, however, with his athletic um, success. He struggles academically and is failing two grades um, in English and algebra. Um, he has done everything he can. The, and the school has helped um, provide tutors, um, additional help after school, um, but he's still failing um, these two classes. <clears throat> the grading procedures is a little bit different than um, programs that I'm used to. Um, they have a multi-stepped uh, process at Migraine High School. Um, the first step is that teachers submit their grades to the school's office. Um, from the office, um, the grades are forwarded to the district central office um, where they are processed um, to report cards and mailed to the students' homes. Kind of like an older school um, uh, grading process. Uh, from the central office, uh, the grades are, the report cards are forwarded to the um, athletic directors, um, to the corresponding uh, departments. Um, where the athletic directors will determine uh, and review eligibility for um, student athletes. Um, <clears throat> we use a program called Ranked One and it's all online, which is way better in my opinion because we get weekly updates and it, we can see exact um, grades, uh, uh, teacher reports, everything, and it's, it's immediately updated every day that the uh, teacher submits their grade. So it's faster, it's more efficient, and everybody has access to it. So sidebar. <clears throat> um, uh, in the case that the athletic director just, uh, determines that Hakeem is ineligible for playoffs, um, which obviously in his mind is detrimental, um, the athletic director believes that winning the state championship would be um, greatly beneficial to the school, and that is the utmost importance, which everybody knows athletic success is can, can really bring positive um, change to schools. Um, so in order to try to fix the problem, the athletic director asked both teachers to reevaluate um, uh, Hakeem's grades. Um, the first teacher is named uh, Miss Timerson. Um, Miss Timerson is a second year teacher um, and she also is interested in becoming the girls tennis coach. Um, so after playing with the, um, was Miss was Miss Timerson? I apologize. Um, to provide um, additional work that to make up the grade, and also to say that she made a grading mistake to the district um, in order to change his grade to become eligible. Miss um, Timerson felt pressured um, because she was trying to get. Um, the girls tennis um, position and she felt pressured that if she didn't comply with the um, grade change that she would um, not be able to get the position. Um, so um, she um, decides to change his grade um, and uh, make him passing. The second teacher was um, his English teacher, uh, Mr. Firm. Mr. Firm is a eight-year vet um, at the school and um, took the plea from the athletic director as offensive and became angry that um, they were trying to uh, do some morally uh, improper stuff and getting Hakeem passing for athletic benefit. Um, when he uh, became angry, he reported the athletic director to the um, vice, uh, vice principal stating that these were, um, this is morally wrong, that, you know, this shouldn't be happening, which obviously made the vice principal very angry. Um, so, upon
upon everything, the athletic director just in the end simply ignored eligibility and let Hakeem play, um, which obviously is a moral no-no. Um, so the vice principal goes to uh, Ms. Timorous and says that he needs evidence of why uh, she changed her grade and what happened um, and to provide hardcore evidence that the athletic director was not um, influencing her to do um, the wrong thing. <coughs> so um, this caused a great um, rift in between the administration and the staff. Um, obviously, you know, what's the point of putting in these grades if an athletic director can just come in and change them at any time. Um, so despite the whole grade um, situation, Hakeem's play was not interrupted at all and continued to play as if nothing happened. So um, for the stating the common sense solution, obviously grades need to be put before athletics every day of the week. Um, we put too much focus on athletic performance and not enough focus on the academic side of student athletes. Uh, this, <coughs> excuse me, um, obviously provides a multitude of moral problems, but the essential concept is that when we allow student athletes to think that they're better than the program to put them, their performance and their athletic ability above um, what is required of them, they, um, you create a, a culture of people who do not take responsibility, um, who do not own up for their actions, and it just creates a multitude of issues, as well as creating um, a, a rift in between the athletic program and the academic program. Um, especially at the high school and college level, those two need to be um, completely married and need to be in the same page and completely in sync. And when you start showing favoritism and, <coughs> excuse me, uh, in my opinion, moral corruption towards grades, you're going to create a, a, a rift in between these two, and it's not going to end up well for anyone, especially the athletic director. Um, the moral theory that I chose was a theological, which is a four-step process. Um, the first one is describe the moral problem in detail. Uh, to me, the moral problem of this story is that the athletic director is taking the success of potentially winning a state championship over the moral issue of trying to persuade teachers to fix a grade um, when that student has not earned that grade. Um, the second step is to determine the moral values that an individual in your capacity should possess. As an athletic director, integrity and honesty should be the utmost importance in your job. So. What a student does is what they get. We can, we can assist that student in any way we can, uh, tutors, uh, any additional help they need, after school programs, whatever. But at the end of the day, if the student does not perform, that grade is their grade and they need to kind of live with their decision, um, more or less. Uh, the third step is determine how a person who has the morals would act given the circumstances I have been privileged to work with some really great athletic directors um, through my internships of, um, through my bachelor's degree. Um, and all of the uh, people who I worked with had the same trait that they were firm but fair. So in my opinion, again, kind of going back to helping those students out is any way you can, but at the end of the day, you have to be firm. You can't put personal, um, agendas or um, athletic agendas before the the concept of the school the concept of the school is to teach athletics is just a form of recreation that we can t use as a, a tool to teach but then the day academics is always going to need to come first so um, integrity and honesty is the uh, moral uh, acts that that position needs to have the last step <coughs> is um, engage in the action in which a morally good person in your capacity would engage. Um, obviously, again, going back to that integrity, you have to be able to, you can't just be, you know, I'm integ um, you know, I'm honest, uh, I have high integrity, I, um, 
and fair across the board, but then let um, student athletes like a Hakeem play when they're ineligible. It doesn't matter the circumstance. I don't care if you're 0 and 10 or 10 and 0 state championship game or scrimmage, you have to hold that academic um, integrity and that honesty um, and hold these kids accountable as well as hold your staff and yourself accountable um, to the highest level in my opinion. So in order to resolve the conflict um, using this situation, I would have verbally announced that I made a mistake, um, I'm willing to accept all the consequences, um, and let the public know, let your staff know, let administration know that academics is the most important thing and athletics is always going to be second to that and that you're um, sorry and that honesty, integrity, and transparency is going to be your new mentality, which going back to the rank one reference, um, <coughs> excuse me, it, everything's so transparent with grades nowadays, um, with all being online and everyone has access to it, it prevents a lot of situations like this from happening. So I think that um, with the increase in technology, um, situations like this are going to hopefully happen fewer than what they um, have previously done. Um, so this was my review on the case study for um, pressure to change Akeem's grade on page 43. Thank you so much.